everyone, Lamplighter here. Once again, welcome to my channel. Before we get underway with today's overview of some of my gear, I just want to give a uh, big thank you to all of my new subscribers that have come on board. I certainly appreciate all of your support and all of the comments and uh, much appreciation for sure. So uh, without further ado, we're going to just jump right into this next overview. Um, I'll be talking about my hiking attire in the way of footwear, camp shoes, headlamp, navigational stuff, and um, trekking poles. So let's, let's have a look and see what we've got. All right, I'm going to be starting my hike with a pair of Keen hiking boots. I've had uh, a problem with uh, weak ankles for a number of years now. Um, so the plan is to start off with these boots and then eventually um, as I become more trail conditioned um, I may be able to swap them out for uh, trail runners of some sort. The very first thing I did is remove the original insoles which are wafer thin and don't really allow for much support and I swapped them out for a pair of these soles which are just amazing, uh, very cushiony uh, and very form-fitting to my foot. You can heat them up in your oven and, and custom mold them to, to your feet. Um, I also have uh, preserved uh, the integrity of the water resistance of these boots with something called Snow Seal. I've used this stuff for years and uh, it works really well, you know, you can just heat up your boot uh, gently with a hair dryer and just apply the snow seal, it's beeswax based, and just uh, rub that into the uh, leather and let it soak in. And it does uh, allow for additional amount of uh, water resistance. Also, um, for camp shoes, I have a pair of these Zero sandals. They'll be coming along. Uh, they're not that heavy. I prefer these over Crocs. And uh, they'll also be used uh, for around town when the weather is warmer and also for uh, fording rivers and creeks and so on and so forth. Next thing I want to talk about are my trekking poles. These are the black diamonds with the cork handles. Um, I prefer these uh, over just the uh, composite type handle because they uh, just help eliminate or reduce the amount of sweat as you grip um, these uh, handles. They're flip locks, which again I prefer over the uh, twist lock. They hold quite well. Uh, they'll also be used um, to help set up my tent in place of actual tent poles. All right, for headlamp, I'm going with the black diamond. This is the Icon 500 looms. Um, it's a beast of a headlight. It really throws the beam well. Now, instead of bringing um, two sets of alkaline batteries, I'm just gonna go with one set of rechargeable. Those are 2700 milliamp rechargeables. Um, I'll talk a little bit more about how I'm going to recharge them when I do my video overview on electronics. But this headlamp here has high low settings, spot, field uh, view, as well as uh, red light, dimmable red light, blue light, and green light. So very pleased with the performance of this headlight. It might be more than what some others would take with them, uh, but for some serious night hiking and just for night vision, um, I'm quite pleased with this setup. In the way of navigation, um, I'll be bringing along the, the AT guide. This is the 2016 version. I have the 2019 version on order, and apparently it will be delivered starting January 15th, which is coming up.
Along with the AT guide, I'll be using the Gut Hooks um, trail guide system for the Appalachian Trail that you can purchase and download from the Google Play Store. So I have that as well, and it's already downloaded into my phone, complete with maps. Uh, the beautiful thing about the Gut Hooks app is um, you can still use this application in airplane mode and utilize the GPS feature uh, that helps pinpoint very accurately where you might be or should be on the trail. All right, another piece of navigational equipment is my compass. And I have a smaller compass that will be strapped to my pack, primarily used for its temperature reading feature. And it's also handy to have for when you're coming to a trailhead or, or a shelter area, or you can just check which way to get you back to where you need to be on trail. Along with that will be my whistle. Not really part of navigation, but um, it is helpful for location if you wander off trail or, or get yourself into a situation that you need help with. All right, that's pretty much it uh, for my gear.